feel like with this weather, it's like we flipped a switch. It yeah. is going to be so warm. Yeah, it went it went quick. Uh, yeah. We've been uh, single digit highs for all of last week, mm -hmm. and then just in the last couple of days, we mm -hmm. bounce back in a hurry. Take Oof. a live mm -hmm. peek outside. Everything's moving along. No major issues. The only big problem we're going to have over the next couple of days is perhaps a little frost in the morning because of the melting that's happening. We'll see some fog or frost overnight. This is uh, Highway 14. You can see that eastbound lane blocked at 22 on the uh, the right lane. There is uh, out of commission for now. Here's a live view down at 169 to Lookout Drive in Mankato. And again, we'll see a few off and on scattered slick spots because we get all the moisture in the air from the melting during the day. And then when temperatures drop, it condenses. We get a little fog and perhaps a little frosty coating on some of the roads, especially some of the lesser travel roads. So just something to keep an eye on. We're at 31 now, though. We were uh, back above freezing for a change today. No wind, so just a nice, uh, comfortable day. And this is going to be our trend now from here right on into February. February is now at the end of the 10-day forecast, and it's actually going to get quite a bit warmer uh, toward uh, the beginning of February. So hang on. I'll show that to you coming up. 32 in Owatonna, Albert Lee at 30. We've got 31 in Mankato, 30 in St. James, Fairmont, and Blue Earth both at 32. Algona at 30 degrees and we did have some sunshine today. A few often on clouds, but some sun. We're going to fill that in overnight. It's going to be mostly cloudy tonight and through much of the day tomorrow. We're actually keeping an eye on this big pattern change that's going to keep our temperatures 10 or more degrees above average right on through the rest of January into that first week of February. The one thing that's going to kind of impact the temperature will be the amount of snow on the ground. And we don't have much to begin with, but once we melt the snow that we have, that's going to allow temperatures to climb even further. So that's why we're going to be warmer toward the end of this 10 day forecast. And we are watching one system that could bring a little bit of a rain snow mix into Thursday. It's a big system to our south. We're going to get clipped or not going to get much. So here's what's happening. So over the last couple of weeks, we've been under the influence of kind of a northerly flow. The jet stream has been kind of coming at us from the Arctic north, bringing in bitterly cold temperatures. Of course, uh, single digit highs for quite some time, well below zero low temperatures. Well, we've had a big change and it's been kind of a quick one, but the jet stream has shifted and now we have more of a westerly flow and this brings in Pacific air, which is quite a bit warmer. And so our temperatures are going to climb. In fact, we're going to be above freezing for highs basically through the week, the weekend and into next week. The other thing we're watching is a system that's going to bring a little bit of light rain or snow as we uh, take you through tonight. There really isn't much going on, but as we roll further down the road here into tomorrow, a couple of uh, flurries possible. And then as we slide into uh, later in the week, we're actually going to see a system move through that's going to bring some scattered rain and snow showers here by let's go to Wednesday into Thursday. You can see that little bit of green. It's not going to be much, but Thursday morning especially could be enough to bring just a couple of travel issues, maybe some icy roads, something to keep an eye on. But you can see here most of the precip will be to our southeast. We're going to be less than a tenth of an inch, mostly rain with just a little snow mixed in at times. Tonight, a little bit of light freezing fog possible. A few flurries down to 21 tomorrow. A cloudy day, a few off and on flurries, high of 33. And here we go, 35 Wednesday into Thursday. There's that chance of mixed precip. Again, it's not going to be much, but maybe enough to make things a little slick, especially as temperatures drop overnight Wednesday night into Thursday. As we swing into the weekend, mid 30s, we're going to melt that snow and then it gets even warmer next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're talking low to mid 40s for high temperatures and that's 10 to 20. Our average high is 24 now, right? So that's uh, right. well above average for this time of year. So nothing normal, mm -hmm. really cold to really warm. Mm -hmm. And that's our trend here for quite a while. It's it was like way too cold too long for me. Yeah, I know it'll be nice to have the milder temps for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. Ryan. You bet. Cold cases are heating up thanks to new technology. It's called Forensic Investigative Genetic Genealogy, or FIG. It's giving investigators a new look at cases and families of missing loved ones new hope for closure. At the time, we thought that he probably ran away somewhere. What was your reaction when you got the DNA results back? I was totally convinced that that was my uncle that they found. Tonight on KEYC News Now at 10, our national investigative team has an in-depth look into how FIG works and how DNA detectives are using the technology to bring answers to unsolved mysteries. That's tonight at 10 on KEYC News Now. We'll be right back. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.